What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So back by popular demand, we have another critique video. Critiquing your photos, gonna be a great video, let's go. So yeah, as per before, we are critiquing your photos. These are photos that have been sent to me on the email address right here, RSP Edit My Shot. I know that says Edit My Shot, we're actually doing a video on that really, really soon, but this is the critique video. So that's people who've sent me photos that they wanted me to critique. We've got a few lined up, I've not seen them yet. We're gonna go through and have a look in a second and we will critique those photos. Now we're going 50-50 today. We've got half these photos that come from that email address and the other half of the photos have come from the Facebook group. So I've tried to prioritize the guys in the Facebook group. A little bit of a thank you from me to them for being part of our community and being part of that group. If you want to find out about that group, go check the first link in the description. You can find out how to be a member of that group. Loads of cool photos to look through today. As per always, this is just my personal opinion on those photos. I'm not necessarily the final judgment on whether or not a photo is good. It's simply my opinion. What do I think of the photo? Maybe what I would have done differently if it was a photo of mine. I'm sure it won't offend anybody. If you guys sent in a photo to be critiqued, you know that that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm sure it'll be all good. I'm gonna share the names of the people the photos have come from as we go through, of course. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know what you think of the photos, whether or not you think they're good or not. And maybe any critique that you yourself would have for some of the photos that I talk about. Let's make sure we keep it positive or constructive. I appreciate it can't always be positive, but what I don't want is any negativity in the comments. Let's just keep it constructive if we have got something to say. Before I spin around and look at these photos, guys, do me one favor for me, go hit the like button on the video. It helps my video to be more successful, which helps my channel grow. And I really, really appreciate that because the more the channel grows, the more time I can afford to keep invested in making more videos for you guys. Specifically with these videos, I'm kind of using the like button as a measure to whether or not we should carry on this series. So if you do like this series and you want me to keep on doing it, then do two things for me. First of all, hit that like button. Second of all, keep on sending your photos to the RSP Edit My Shot and I then have photos that I can carry on critiquing. I warn you guys, I won't be able to get through all of them. I already have a load of photos stockpiled on that email address, which is really, really great that so many of you are sending them in, but I will try to work through them as we go. Right, let's spin around on the computer and let's have a look at these photos. Let's go. Okay, right, so just gonna do it the usual way. We're gonna open up the photos, go through and talk about them. Let's do this. So the first photo we have got, <laughs> I apologize, man. I'm gonna say the first name I've got and I'm gonna say it wrong, but I think this is from Bed Bedwire, Bedwire, Bedway. I'm really sorry, man. That's going to be awful pronunciation, but Bedwai Williams. Cricket photo. Nice. Okay, so... Right. Look, lots of things I like about this. Um, it's sharp, which is good. I love the way you can see the guy's face. You can tell exactly what's going on. There's obviously at the action here. He has... I'm assuming he's just hit this ball. Um, or is he about to hit the ball? No, he must have just hit this ball, I think. Um, I think this is generally pretty good. The background's fairly clean. It's a shame that he overlaps this other player because that makes it a little bit more messy around kind of his arms and the bat. It would have been cleaner for you if he'd been against this green background, but look, there's there's a limit to what you can do to to um to help that situation. Maybe I would have, because it kind of looks like he's moving a bit to the right, so I maybe would have given him a little bit more space on the right of the frame. I'm guessing the wicket must be just off to the right somewhere. Perhaps it could have been cool if we kept that in the frame on the right hand side there somewhere. But generally speaking, I like that photo, man. That's a pretty nice one. Thank you, man, for submitting that. Right, what else have we got? Okay, so this one from Darren. Darren Woolley. So, um, nice, Darren. So look, you've tried something a bit different here, right? You've gone with the slower shutter speed. So, um, I like it. I like the action. I like the sh uh, slower shutter speed. There's a few bits for me. Um, 
you can tell what you're doing with the two players kind of on the right here because they're fairly clean like this guy's fairly clean in the face and through the body which is good the mo movements in the arms and legs over to the left with the keeper it doesn't work so well it kind of just looks like that keeper's out of focus the other thing for me of course is i'm always a big fan of photos where the players are coming towards you so you can see the faces i think that's quite a big thing for me so for me it would have been better if you could see this guy's face especially seeing as the photo is about him he's the main subject i struggle with slow shutter speeds i don't use them too much myself mainly because they are really really hard to get right and i think this is a good example of it the photo is decent but it's hard to get it right and because of that you've probably struggled slightly as i know i would if i was trying to say take a slow shutter speed sports photo which is why you rarely see those from me <laughs> thank you darren cheers for submitting it who we got next Okay, so this one's from Dave Glock. Dave, nice, man, good photo. Youth football, I don't know if this is maybe your, your son or family member or something, but great photo. I love the action, it's really obvious what's going on. There's a shot going in. Unfortunately for him, it maybe looks like there's a shot going in that he hasn't managed to save. Um, couple of bits for me, the, the upright is great. Obviously, you couldn't have leveled the horizon because the horizon would be at this awkward angle. So what you've done is you've leveled it with the upright, with the goalpost, which is exactly what I would do, so I like that. Bit of a shame for me that his face is blocked. Like, if he'd been reaching that little bit further, maybe that would have been in the frame before this one or perhaps the frame afterwards. Uh, that would have been nice because you could have seen that expression. He's obviously got that, like, kind of strenuous expression on his face, and that could have worked really well. So slight shame that his arm isn't away from his face like that. But nice, you've obviously used a fast shutter speed. Everything's clean. The ball here is nice and clean, which is great. Background's blurred out. Shame about this guy here. Um, kind of spoiled your background a little bit. But again, you know, it's um, it's a funny one, right? Because with youth football, you don't get as much of the crowds. So you almost either want lots of crowd or no one in the background. When you just have kind of one or two people like that, it kind of messes up your frame a little bit. But overall, I like that photo, Dave. Nice one. Thank you for submitting it, man. Okay, next up, we got one from David Herman. This looks like ice hockey, I would assume, David, or maybe something else I'm not familiar with, but I'm guessing it's ice hockey. Nice, I like this, so kind of more of like a portrait type shot, which is great. Slight little bit of grain. I can see you obviously had to use a higher ISO level, which I can sympathize with, with indoor arenas, you get that quite a lot. There's not much, there's not much I don't like about this. Um, he's obviously got like bubble gum or something going on, which is cool. That kind of adds a little bit to the photo. Um, you've kind of cropped in close, right? So you've taken the top off the helmet, but, but I can see that's almost deliberate. Like you've tried to really get in on the guy's face. So maybe with that in mind, you perhaps even could have gone in slightly further, like maybe lost a little bit of space on the right hand side and maybe slightly on the bottom of the image. But generally speaking, I, I like that. It's kind of one of those um, like portraits within a sport match which i quite enjoy i try and get a few of those myself really like it see what you're trying to do maybe a photo even that could have worked in black and white perhaps but um but I, I like that image overall nice clean background as well which is good thank you david okay here we've got one from um hayden in the facebook group hayden nice one so good um yeah man all around decent clean shot you've got here so um, your exposure looks pretty good. You may, maybe could have gone slightly, slightly brighter, but generally speaking, your exposure is pretty good. Your horizon, I think, is level. May have gone. Maybe if you were being fussy, you could say it's not quite level. This upright here looks slightly off, for example, but, but generally it's level, which looks good. Nice bit of action. It follows most of the rules, which I say, right? The players are coming towards you. You can see faces. You can see the ball in the shot, which is really, really important. These two guys in your background kind of mess up your background a little bit, but generally speaking, it's fairly clean. They're not in focus, which helps. Like if this guy here had been in focus, that would have messed up your frame. But where he's out of focus, it draws your attention to this guy's face, which is good. But again, it would have been cleaner if they weren't there at all which in something like a football match is really hard to achieve, but generally speaking, good. It looks like you might have a tiny bit of movement in the foot here and slightly maybe on the right-hand edge of the ball. I don't know what shutter speed you were using. That's, you know, again, look, that's getting fussy, right? That's getting into the real detail. But generally speaking, I think this is a great photo, Hayden. Nice one. Thank you for sending it in. Next up, we got one from John Bradley. We've got football again. 
Nice shot, John. I like it. Same as I said before, it follows all the rules that I consider to be important. Your horizon's straight. You can see faces. The players are coming towards you. You can see the ball. You've got some of the same challenges that Hayden had. You've got this player in the background who's slightly messed up your frame because he's overlapping with this guy. But again, because he's out of focus and this guy's sharp, it draws your attention here. You don't find yourself looking over here, which is good. Um, your highlights are quite bright. So some of the shorts, and like you can see here, on the right hand edge and slightly here that the edge of the shorts is lost against that background because your highlights are quite bright you could have tried to bring down your highlights a little bit maybe or perhaps slightly underexposed from that point and brought up your shadows a little bit maybe it's hard when it's a really bright day and you've got white clothes it's really really hard i struggle with that all the time um, especially when i'm shooting full on a bright day because they wear a lot of white and it is a challenge i like the action though it's sharp it's crisp it's clear it follows the rules that i like so generally speaking, John, I like that photo, man. Thank you. Next up, we've got another John, John Mallett, and his cricket. Now, I know John shoots a lot of cricket. So to be honest, John is probably more qualified to talk about a cricket photo than I am. <laughs> but I would just share my honest opinion. Um, first of all, I love the shot. It's one of those moments, I would guess maybe, um, is probably an appeal for someone being out, I would guess, by looking at what's going on. Um, I love the expression. You can see the guy's face. This hand, if it was more across the face, it, it wouldn't work as well. But it's kind of almost emphasised is his face with where it is which I like um maybe if I was being picky perhaps you could bring out the shadows a tiny little bit it's quite dark across here and because this guy's in focus he's kind of part of of the picture almost so perhaps if he was slightly brighter and it looks like you've got a fair bit to work with you couldn't bring up your overall exposure because then this would would all be out down the bottom but maybe you could bring up your shadows ever so slightly but generally speaking i really like that shot man good shot good action shot it's it's straight it's level all the stuff that i talk about um but i've seen a fair few of john's cricket shots and i'm not surprised that he's got all those things right because he's a decent cricket photographer perfect like it thank you john okay next we've got marcus uh so marcus i know from your interactions in the facebook group i know this is going to be handball um what have we got here is, is oh hang on no is it handball they've got sticks oh you've thrown me off you told me about handball before in the group no, I'm going to go with that. I think it is handball, but they can use the sticks too, right? Marcus, let us know in the comments, man. Help us understand understand what game we've got going on here. So, first of all, I like this image. It's something a little bit different, right? It's something which I've talked about before. Um, we did like a live portfolio video in our Facebook group and we talked about artistic photos. And this is certainly one of those. Um, something like white balance goes out the window here because it's an image that deliberately has that like yellowy green tinge across it. So you wouldn't want to try to correct that white balance. It's deliberately got that kind of um, colour cast across it which is really really great it makes the image i love that about it i like the fact the background is all dark and that kind of emphasizes it a little bit more i like the reflections across the floor you maybe uh you maybe could have trimmed in slightly on the left and the right maybe and may no maybe not so much at the top i don't think you'd want to crop in at the bottom because that reflection really helps make the photo but you could have maybe trimmed especially the left ever so slightly perhaps but all round, I really like that shot. Something a bit different to one of those shots that you kind of, you look at. And even though the actual moment is like a team huddle, it's something very basic. You've turned it into something really cool and something artistic and something you could almost imagine sitting in like a, a portfolio or something. I like that image, Marcus. Thank you. Sorry that I butchered the explanation of handball. <laughs> right. Next up, we've got Richard Earson. So, Richard, um, Formula One, right? This is from the British Grand Prix, I think you said um, in the message you sent over. So, love it. Really like this image. So, this is an example where sometimes the rules will go out of the window, right? Now, by a lot of what I say, you should level this up. You should make it level. But in my opinion with this, no, you shouldn't. Because it being at the angle like that for me really emphasizes the movement of the car and the way it's like coming around that corner towards us which i really really like so i certainly wouldn't want to straighten up that photo i like the colors the pink and the blue are nice and vibrant and also the green over here on the left hand side and the curve is really cool 
it's great that you can see the driver's helmet as well. Now, I've seen stuff on like Instagram and things with um, motorsport photographers. I know this, this safety thing across the front kind of messes up photos a little bit now, but you wouldn't want to lose that, right? It's important for the safety of the drivers, but you've got it right because you can see the face, you can even see the hand, and you can even see the way the steering wheel is kind of emphasizing that movement a little bit more. So I really like this photo. Not gonna say too much bad about it because to be honest, I don't think there is much bad that I could say. May, may, maybe you could have pushed your vibrancy of some of those colors a bit more, like made that pink and that blue a little bit more vibrant, um, almost kind of a little bit kind of larger than life type of effect. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna go too far because then it looks fake like a cartoon or something, but you perhaps could have got it out slightly more if you'd wanted to. But nonetheless, I like that photo, really great. Thank you for sending it in. Okay, next up we've got a photo from Rob Lange. Uh, swimming, nice one Rob, something a bit different. I don't think I've seen a swimming photo on, on this before. I like it, I like the action. I like how you've got him like raising up out of the water like that, that works really well. I think for me, I would have tried to get this a little bit more vibrant. It looks a little bit flat, the colors. I think you, I, it's difficult, right? Because I, I know what you would have had, the, the light versus the blue coming off this water. You probably had quite a funny white balance to work with. I would imagine this photo maybe came out fairly yellow and you've tried to correct it slightly to get the skin tones right, perhaps. I'm, I'm guessing, but perhaps. Um, I think for me, I probably would have embraced that a little bit and brought the vibrancy out of it so that you had all the, the you could really see the blue in the water i think that would have worked quite well yeah you would have had to have played around with it a little bit to try and get some of the skin tones uh, i don't know what color this was here was that maybe red originally and it's been changed a bit with the color i'm not sure or maybe it was brown like that i i don't know if it maybe it was brown in the first place and apologies rob i'm giving rubbish advice if it was but for me i like the image i love the action i love the water spray and the effect it's sharp, you can see the guy's face. You've got him out the water, which is one of the hardest things to get with a swimming photo. So really, really great for me. Um, two things, I probably would have cropped in slightly, slightly closer, and I probably would have tried to get that color out a little bit more. So it was a little bit more vibrant and had a bit more um, punch to the photo. But otherwise, I like that, Rob. Thank you. Okay, next up, we've got a football shot from Stanley BN. Stanley, nice. Um, Okay, good good moment of action. The guy's kind of diving in there for a tackle. In fact, it looks like a decent tackle, actually, that. I would have given a little bit more space, so a little bit more space above the head up here and a little bit more space to the right because the image looks like it's coming this way. You probably at the same time could have lost a little bit off the bottom if you wanted to. Um, you've got an awkward angle here, right? Because you kind of, like it looks like maybe you've tried to level it to this bar, which I could see why you do that. But then because of whatever this is up here, roof or something, it almost looks like it's not straight again. This guy looks like he's leaning slightly. Got a bit of a messy background that you're trying to work with there, which again is quite hard. Um, there's lots I like, the faces are good, the action's great. Straightening this image would be hard to do and I can see perhaps you've struggled with that slightly. I would have maybe gone slightly, slightly brighter so you get a little bit more colour out of this guy, um, this guy's jersey up here and perhaps slightly wider, so a bit more room at the top and a little bit more room to the right. You probably could have given a bit more room on the left maybe and lost some off the bottom if you'd wanted to as well. But all around, it's a nice photo. Look, it's sharp. It's got the action in it, right? So nice, Stanley. It's good. Okay, Thomas, what do we got? So American football, great, man. A sport I would love to have an opportunity to photograph a little bit more. Now, American football is a funny one, right? It's one of those sports where my very brief experience of shooting it, you can get a little bit like rugby, you get an opportunity to photograph people when they're moving away from you because they do a lot of things that involve them turning back towards the camera. Whether it's catching a ball, so for example, the receiver over here on the right is looking back towards us. But the problem is, is he's out of focus. The guy who you've got this focused on is obviously the quarterback who's about to throw this ball. Um, and, and it's tough when he's facing away Away from you because you can't see his front you can't see his face and that makes it more difficult maybe if the photo was about this guy who I'm assuming is trying to get to the quarterback this guy who's kind of out of sight behind him then it wouldn't have mattered that his back was towards you because you would have had his face but the trouble is with this you can't see any faces apart from the guy who's off here in the distance who is out of focus so maybe it could have worked more if he was in focus and this guy was out of focus but it's difficult it's why I talk a lot about having faces coming towards you and players coming towards you that really really makes the photo 
photo for me. Um, other things you could have cropped it slightly more, I would have just chopped this guy out of the photo, he's not adding anything to it for you, if anything is making it slightly worse. So I would have just chopped that off and maybe brought it in slightly closer along the bottom under his feet. Yeah, tough one, it's really hard when you've got someone going away from you like that, right? The smallest margins make a difference. If this guy had been slightly more over to the right and you could see him coming in to try and take out this quarterback, it would have been an entirely different photo. So it's hard, really hard getting a photo like that. Thank you, Thomas. Okay, and on to our last photo for this video. One from Trevor Wilkinson Football. I like this, Trevor, nice. Um, pretty much all the rules followed, right? You can see the face, you can see the body, you can see the football, it's sharp. If I was being fussy, you could straighten it slightly more. You can see this upright. Um, it looks like you probably straightened it to the bar, which I could see why you would do that, but because you're probably shooting across the pitch a little bit, you actually might need to straighten it more with the upright so that it makes a bit more sense, because like, you can see this upright on the right. It makes it look slightly, um, slightly off. It's a nice action shot. It would be better if you had a player from the other team in there as well, but you can't always get that. This is a really good kind of what I would call like a stock photo that you could send in to an agent or something because maybe there'd be a news story down the line about this player right here and this is the perfect kind of image that they could use an image which shows a player shows them in action but doesn't have the context to like what game it's for sometimes those are really useful for stock images your background's out of focus which is great because you've got quite a busy background going on there lots of people but it works because it's out of focus you've crushed it with that shallow depth of field which works really well nice photo trevor thank you cool Right guys, that's all the photos. Let's spin back round to the desk, let's go. Cool, there you go guys, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found that interesting. Some awesome photos in there this time, which is really, really good to see. Thank you so much for all of you guys who sent in your photos. Whether I managed to feature them or not, I really, really appreciate you sending it in. Thank you so much for doing that. If you did enjoy it guys, make sure you go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We're nearly at 2,300 subscribers, which I know is tiny in the bigger picture of YouTube, but it's really cool for me and it's awesome to see the channel growing a little bit like that and as those subscribers go going to try and keep these videos coming at the moment we're probably looking like twice a week i think realistically tuesdays and fridays is probably when you guys can expect to see videos tuesday is probably going to be more like my tutorial type videos also including some stuff like this like the critique videos i kind of consider those to be a bit tutorially tutorially man is that a word I don't think it is <laughs> like tutorial type videos and Friday will be my other videos where we do some different stuff I've got a really cool video coming for you guys this Friday it's going to be one that's especially good for you guys who've got Instagram channels it's all about Instagram and I think you guys are going to enjoy it in the meantime guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys I will see you on the next video Friday